Good evening. My name is Belinda Godfrey, and I am here to present my creative thinking final project. When I was considering what I wanted to present, I tried to come up with a common thread that tied the creative thinkers to each other and to me. I initially wanted to draw a connection with the presence of a strong female role. However, I could not deny the fact that the dads were present also. So my common thread became the influence on the creative thinker by one or both parents. So I thought about an image that I personally associated with a parent. And for some reason, I just kept going back to the retro house mom and apron. And then I thought about dads wear aprons also. When they're grilling outside or when they're building, they wear work aprons. And sometimes when working on a car, they wear an apron. Aprons are garments that are used to protect, to cover, and to provide. But with the apron are apron strings also. And those strings tend to tie, control, and bind. Sometimes the way we think and interact. So I really hope you enjoy this presentation as I present aprons of the seven creative thinkers and myself and how we're all tied by aprons and apron strings. Hello again. I will now present the aprons of the seven creative thinkers. Here we have the apron of Dr. Freud. Like Freud, I have a very strong maternal influence. Um, however, my mother did not necessarily esteem one of her children over the other. There are five of us and she celebrates our differences. We are all very different people. She treats us all as though we were an only child. Not favored above any of the others. Um, also, unlike Freud, I did not mind formal education. I enjoyed an opportunity to be around people. Um, my siblings, again, in compared to Freud, are significantly older than I am. Um, so, I practically grew up as an only child. So, I actually wanted to attend school, not only to learn, but to socialize. Um, this is his apron, and these are some of the things that I have put on here, um, as I was able to see from Freud. This is his theory regarding the it, the ego, and the superego, the couch, and the mother-son relationship. Next, we have Albert Einstein. This is Albert Einstein's apron. Like Einstein, I, again, have the strong maternal influence um, and super cool hair. But again, I, I embrace formal education. I appreciated the structure. And I, again, love being around people. So I was not necessarily a learner, a, a loner. Um, albeit, there are times that I did challenge my teachers because their way was not the way I thought things should be. Um, I did not rebel against formal education. I, again, saw things as a challenge and I would go after the challenge. Um, also, like Einstein, I like to think that I have a sense of humor. He was one of the creative thinkers that really jumped out to me because he actually seemed to have a personality. He seemed to be kind and, and friendly. And again, the famous picture with his thumb, with his tongue sticking out, he just seemed to have a really fun time and have a good sense of humor. 
And that's something that I have in common with Einstein. Next person we have is Picasso. Even though Picasso had a strong female role, his father is the role that may have influenced his creativity the most. Um, Picasso seemed to really have a, an issue with education. Um, not necessarily that he rebelled against it or just fought the system of formal education. He just seemed to not be a fit. And as a prodigy, I mean, he just wasn't, he wasn't a fit. This was um, my interpretation of Picasso. He had strong um, father or paternal influence. This is a painter's palette. Um, this is my attempt to recreate a Picasso. Um, women were his muse. He had relations, but not relationships. Um, that is where I may differ because I, I esteem relationship above it all. And this is my little artistic view of the name Picasso. Igor Stravinsky, like Picasso, he too had a very strong um, paternal influence in his life um, in that his father was almost like a renaissance man. He was a singer, an actor, a lawyer, um, but of the three, he wanted Stravinsky to follow along the trail of his footsteps as being a lawyer and to become a law student. Um, I think I most like Stravinsky in that there are things that people have set for my life that I didn't necessarily have set for my life. In an effort to discover myself, sometimes I just had to strike off and and um, do my own thing. Um, also, Stravinsky, like Picasso, was a ladies' man. And again, I am one who really value relationship. But this is my Stravinsky apron, and it has the father figure um, influence and music notes and piano keys. Next, we have T.S. Eliot. Um, there are a few things that I really have in common with T.S. Eliot. Uh, like him, I do have a, sh my mother is very strong in her faith. And that is something she instilled me in, in me um, and my siblings to have a strong moral standard. Um, and that is something that Eliot really had instilled in him from his mother. Another thing that ties with me or something that I'm related to is his relationship with his wife who had a debilitating illness. Um, he became a husband nurse. He actually stayed there to take care of his, his wife. And I see that, especially, again, in that strong mother role, as my mother has to do the same thing for my father. So I see that... Um, firsthand and I put this little dark cloud because even though it is something he knows that he's supposed to do it actually was a little tasking but I really did enjoy and, and connected with T.S. Eliot and this is his little apron. Next we have Gandhi. Again we both have strong maternal influence and like Gandhi because of my my personal faith I share a lot in common with him um, with regard to our with a prayer life and abstaining from certain things that you didn't want to abstain from and this is my little Gandhi creative thinking apron 
Um, next, I have Martha Graham, who I just thought was amazing to study. Um, this is her apron, and Martha Graham and I, besides being ladies, um, had several things in common as well. She did have a stronger male influence as her father is the one who encouraged her or introduced the idea of physical movement. And also when she wanted to view dances, he not only gave her the allowance, but he got her new clothes for the occasion and really encouraged her to participate in something that she felt passionate about. Um, this is the Martha Graham apron. Um, this is the stage for Graham. This is a dancer. Um, this is my abstract view of movement. And this is a superwoman emblem because her movements were both strong and feminine, like superwoman. And I really enjoyed reading about her because she just had this sense of leather and lace. Um, so this is my connection with Graham. Oh, also, I am a dancer. I perform with Salsa South and I'm a salsa dancer and I'm a liturgical dancer at my church. Um, and another thing that I have in common with Graham and Picasso is the, my amateur art form of choice and that is photography. I like to take photographs of movement, of trees blowing, of um, plastic bags in the wind, and also of curves of steel items such as roller coasters and stairs. So those are some of the things that I have in common with them. Last but not least, I have my personal apron here. And again, my mother was my strongest influence. Both my mother and my father are super awesome. And I love them both dearly. Um, however, I just spend more time with, with my mother. Um, I was the first person in my family to attend college. And this is where the apron strings come. Because in her effort to, to encourage, she only knew what she knew. So she wanted her kids to exceed her in her own academic status. So she wanted us to at least become high school graduates. So I went a step above, and I was the first one in my family to attend college. Um, again, this is a, a camera because I'm an, a, an amateur photographer. These are a couple of my pictures. Um, I dabble in, in autism research. I worked with autistic students for five years, and I continue to learn about the disorder. And I've actually also... I model for portfolios, so when I saw this picture, it made me think of um, the form that I had for Picasso. And also, like Freud, who had a small group of loyal friends, I too have my small group of loyal friends amidst my big group of acquaintances, but my two best friends have been my best friends since high school. And this is my presentation of aprons with the creative thinkers and me. Belinda Godfrey. Thank you.